Hello, welcome to Dragon Basket, and I'll come up with an intro sometime. I'm kind of waiting to put in, uh, more effort into this until, one, I have more skills to put in effort into it. I have Media Central class and uh, Survey of Animation class. That's Animation is kind of the point of the channel, so learn, learning that and having more practice in that is going to be, make me more capable of putting animations that you're actually going to watch and more of my video content actually being animation and not me talking about my animation just to pad runtime. But also, you know, I might have some nice snippets here and there of actual animation information, uh, tips I get from teacher and eventually tutors or stuff. Um, anyway, then, uh, but, you know, skills to actually animate stuff um, so that I can post interesting animations and then media, media essentials so that I can make more fun. Uh, can I make, can I make any, can make any uh, in thumbnails or something interesting for you to be like, ooh, that might be good. Click on it. Um, yeah. Anyway, so just going to continue do these quick formats. Just ramble at a microphone with uh, some animation looping. Today was a little bit of a struggle because I didn't save my uh, animation in the Monkey Jam format, so I wasn't able to open up how I usually do. I just downloaded it to my Gmail account and have it open here. So I'm going to have to keep replaying this. Um, and there's going to be this bar in the way. Uh, I like this. This is what I turned in for my walk cycle. Um, Midterm survey of animation class. Um, how walk cycles usually work. You have your four extremes and then four in-betweens. Your contact, to, contact in between down, down in between passing, so on. Um, up to Up in between back to contact, you know, that stuff. For this one, I did a few extra. I did two in-betweens. Uh, so I did contact, I did contact, in-between, in-between, down, down, in-between, in-between, in-between. So three in-betweens between down and passing. So I have the four extremes and then two in-betweens, contact to down, two, three in-betweens, down to passing, three in-betweens, passing to up, and two in-betweens, up to down or up to contact I mean and so it, what it does is it makes him set his foot down kind of quickly it's not the crashing that I wanted it's not his weight just boom down but he is settling and then he has to pause for a second to regather to gather himself and then he continues it's nowhere near as slow as I wanted it to be though so I'll probably need to like double the in-betweens and see where it's at there. Um, I also might see if there's a way for me to get him to go up a little bit and uh, refigure out how to loft him. Um, how my teacher said the lofting would work is that I uh, favor the in-between closer to the up. So it's like uh, in spacing terms, you have up in between and then if I have another in between uh, you know to get the loft up in between in between in between and then it starts jumping a little bit and that spacing makes you uh, ease out which is the loft and then slam back which is going to be the crashing um, so that's easing in and easing out um, few things I want to point out that I like about this before I get to what I wanted to include but didn't have time to. Um, I have a little bit of that shoulder rotation. So he covers his face and his, you know, he has big arms, has to move, and he covers his face and then he comes back. After I submitted this, I was like, I probably should have brought this shoulder a little forward more because this shoulder is going all the way over here and this shoulder is only like coming here, so I should bring it out a little bit more so that it's more of an even and you get a little bit more of that twist. Shoulder twist and shoulder twist. But still like that I had some of that effect going on. Um, the 
Next thing, I think it looks pretty smooth. The arms were done well enough. I have this little drag that I wanted, and I was able to get the shaded foot on its own horizontal level. I wanted to both feet to be on different levels to give a little bit more depth to the walk. I don't know if it was a good effect. It looks fine to me, but it did create a problem where I was making the unshaded leg longer than the shaded leg. So I don't know if you noticed that, but you know, if he was front on the, the unshaded leg probably would be a couple millimeters longer. Um, yeah, I wanted to get more hip rotation in. Uh, this is fine, but you know, it's mo it's 2D. It looks very obviously 2D. I would have liked to have a little bit more of a 3D shape going, but I didn't figure that out. I didn't choose to have the time and didn't take the time. Um, so the two things from this that I, I'll name three things that I really want to add though. One, this character is supposed to have antlers. Uh, those were going to be really hard to get in the twisting. Um, and I didn't have time, even if I had like, even if I had more time, they were going to be really hard. I just really didn't have the time to try to put antlers in any of the frames, um, especially since I was rotating. Um, the next thing, the hands just feel a little stale. I would like them to twitch a little bit more or something. Um, this is fine. People aren't going to twitch a lot, twitch the hands a lot while just walking, so it's fine. Um, and I, th I thought of a new one I'll just mention real quick. I want it to be in this down position more. Uh, let me try to find it. Uh, that is not it. Oh no, it's not changing. I'm gonna change this playback speed to 25. Should give me a big window. So passing, up, contact, down. So what was I gonna mention? Oh, I want him to kind of hold this position a little more and add a bit, <sighs> you know, he just does this big breath and expands his chest and torso out and just, <gasps> and then he continues into his next step. Um, so that was the bonus thing I thought. Um, I guess there's another bonus thing. Uh, the unshaded foot, I don't have it exactly on this following its own horizontal line. Um, it kind of jots up and down a little bit. I was very careful about making sure that the shaded foot stayed on its horizontal line. I kind of obliviously overlooked the unshaded foot jumping up and down the horizontal plane a little bit. Um, but the other thing I really wanted to include was this little dragging effect. It's only in four of the frames when the foot is in this position. So it's um, bent over, dragging for two frames, and then he lifts up the foot. I would have liked the drag to go on for more frames, and I wanted to have it so that in the drag, the, dr the dragging marks didn't just disappear all of a sudden. I wanted them to be left behind and follow the background off of the screen but I didn't get around to that either for my homework. That's what I turned in. I think it turned out really well. I'm happy with it, uh, but being happy with it doesn't mean there aren't things I want to add or improve. And so I've got stuff to work towards. Thanks for joining me. Um, I was hoping I'd do this video quickly enough to also show you the walkthrough and ball and tail animations I turned in as well. I didn't. and. So I will try to do the next video quicker and include both of those. Thanks for watching. Nobody's watching, but somebody may eventually find this video and thank you for watching. And uh, insert outro, have a great day.